And what have your blood sugars been like? Have you got enough money to get Lucas AIDS? I think probably got quite a few calls in the first few months. <laughs> Um, I was really nervous about going to uni with type 1. So excited. Very independent. Worried and paranoid. I was obviously really scared at first. So the first thing I did was speak to student services and ask them to put a fridge in my room for my insulin. It's quite a different environment, but it definitely does get better. The biggest misconception is probably... You're not fat enough to have diabetes. You can't eat sugar. <laughs> no, that's not right. Some people even say to me, oh, if your blood sugar goes low, I'll give you insulin. Oh, you can just put that insulin in your drink. They just kind of thought you do like one injection and carry on. I did have to tell my flatmates that sometimes with my diabetes, I might have a hypo. I was on a night out um, whilst I was a fresher. I told my friend I was having a hypo and he uh, ran to the local fish and chip shop and got me this kind of polystyrene cup of sugar. Later told him he probably could have given me a Coca-Cola. So I knew I'd have to tell my housemates that I had type 1 diabetes, but my mum insisted that I had to tell them there while she was next to me. Hi, I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. I'm doing politics and I have type 1 diabetes. Parents worry, so mine definitely did. Because <laughs> I didn't answer her text, she called security to come to my flat. Turns out that I was actually just extremely hungover. Having type 1 diabetes is rubbish, obviously, but it shouldn't stop you from going to university. Embrace it, make sure that you've got a solid amount of people around you who know what they're doing. You're no different to anybody else. It's definitely made me the person I am today.